Hey guys, more doors. We're gonna keep going. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six doors to make. One is big, the rest of them are not so big. Let's just get started. That is our electrical cabinet door. I think I'm going to go buy some hinges and then we'll see if I need to, um, how much I'll need to trim off this edge here. Everything has to be adjusted so that it looks as best as it can given the scenario. Look at this beautiful light though, ooh, so lovely. This was never supposed to be exposed, so I messed up here. I was gonna have this, I'll show you real quick what I was gonna do. I was originally planning to do this. I was gonna have this door at an angle. I don't quite like how it looks. I don't really like how either of them look that much. So I'm just gonna go with the simpler one. So right now I'm gonna cut these doors that will someday be the drawer fronts. And I think I'm actually gonna use Velcro, Velcro tape to um, secure them in place. So our little secret, there's no drawers in there. It's just plywood on Velcro. But now it looks really good. Um, uh, this one, not so much. It's really through no fault of the Velcro. It's just because I didn't manage to get this piece of wood square. Oh, hold on, I'll fix that. Here, watch. All right, yeah, you know, just another one of our little dirty secrets. Guys, it's really coming together in here. It's fantastic. Hey guys, working on the bus. All right, so finishing up with doors. In here, I've got my electrical cabinet. What I'm gonna do, oh, by the way, uh, hanging doors. Like, ask any carpenter. Hanging doors is one of the harder things to get right, and it's not something I've done before. Usually, there's a whole process to lining everything up straight, and you gotta like mortise the hinges, and that's not what we're doing here. We're adding a door to a 90 degree surface that closes on a sheet of plywood. I'm throwing out the rule book. Luckily, I don't even know what the rule book is. And I'm doing the thing that makes the most sense to me. And that's a uh, piano hinge. So I'm gonna put a piano hinge. So here I'm in the closet and I can push the door against it over here. And then I can screw my hinge here and there. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to film that for you. Like no chance. So just wanted to show you guys that real quick. This is pretty funny. I got super close to just locking myself in this closet uh, because of this piece. This is how far the closet door would open. And that's it. I had to squeeze through there. I pretty much like had to bend the hinge a tiny bit to get out. If you're gonna do this yourself and you're larger than me, don't do it. We got a problem. I thought it was the piece of wood that was keeping me from opening this door, but it's not. It's the actual door pinching on the edge here. This is not gonna work at all. I think the only way to fix this is I've gotta take the hinge and put it on the outside. I think that's the only thing that's gonna work. Time to try this again. Look at that. I think this is making the best out of a weird situation. That's really cool. I think that's like a, a design feature out of... Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, I'm happy. Okay, so any further than this, there's like a two inch gap here. This right here makes it bind on the inside. So I wonder why, I mean, I can see it here. Check it out. See that? It's really tight right there. Is it because I screwed this hinge too close? Like, should it have been hanging out more? I think that might be the answer. I don't want to redo it, but I wonder how I can... Anyways, uh, I gotta undo it, don't I? I need more of a gap. Okay, so what I did to get what I hope is the perfect gap, I wrapped this around. Now this hinge sticks out a little bit past the door. So once I connect it to the wall, it'll have a gap and it should close that last two inches. All right, so that's way better. I gotta move that bottom hinge over a little bit, but otherwise this is gonna work out good. Cut this with an angle grinder and a cutoff wheel.
Okay, leave it there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are me. Let me me. Hey, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up? We got a little performer. <laughs> Whoa. And now I'm going to drill an inch and three quarter hole right here. And I'm going to put this wardrobe hole, inset it in there. And it's going to be in identical position front and back. And um, talk to the camera here. <laughs> no respect for the vloggers in this bus. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so this almost takes up three quarter. So I'm going to put like a bunch of adhesive on the inside and the adhesive will hold it together. Not how they're designed to be used, but I'm going to use them. Demonstrate. Uh. Oh, you gotta clear them in first. Woo! Oh. Uh. <laughs> but look how good that looks, man. It looks really good. Pretty awesome. Just one more door step done. God, I just wanna keep looking at it. It's Okay, so I'm about to glue this in. I think you're usually you're supposed to use little nails, but I don't feel like doing that. I'm gonna glue it. I'm wondering, I don't know if I'm gonna do this before this video comes out. So I was wondering what you guys think. Like right here, I've got this metal spot here and here. And I was thinking that a nice strong magnet would just catch it right here. And that would be nice and clean. And then over here, this door, it doesn't sit tight against this for some reason. How do I handle that? I was thinking about the Velcro again, and I was also thinking about magnets. Alternatively, I could do some sort of a latch on the outside. If you have any ideas or you have an opinion about those ideas, let me know. Well guys, this is most likely the conclusion of a video. We have doors all over the place. We have some door pulls and we have a mirror. And it looks really cool in here. It looks like... Thank you for watching. We're done. Miss you. Bye. Hey Nova, do you think that our watchers should subscribe to our channel? No. Don't do it guys. Definitely don't do it. Do you think they should like this video? No. Definitely don't do that either. No way. Do you think that they should... Yeah. Yo, what up? Daddy. Yeah, look, it's you and Daddy. See us? Is that fun? Okay, bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. Nova, how old are you? 19 and 2? Yeah. Oh. How old are you? Do some. Do see, do some? <laughs> Oh, for daddy? Thank you. For Nova? For daddy? Nova. Nova. Yeah. Okay. Nova.